Greetings everyone and welcome to Collector Corps. Today we're going to be looking at the Marvel Legends series Disney Plus What If Marvel's The Watcher Wave, this title in so long, T'Challa Star-Lord and Heist Nebula. So obviously these, these characters are from the same episode and that's why I'm covering them together and as unfortunate it is because Nebula is a lot of reuse. I'm less interested in T'Challa Star-Lord as a figure. As a character, I think he's amazing. I just don't... Th this figure just isn't that good in my opinion, but we'll get into that, see if I change my mind by the end of the video, and uh, yeah, let's just, let's just open them up. And you know what? Getting T'Challa out of the box, it's not a bad figure. It's It's really not. And I actually kind of like this more than I expected to. I just... I don't know, there's something about the stylization, the comic, not comic, the uh, cartoonization of the figure, I just, I don't like. But going over just the features I do actually quite like, the head sculpt is really good. I actually, you know, it has grown on me. When they first announced this figure, when they first showed it off, I was like, you know, it doesn't really look like Chadwick Boseman, and I still don't necessarily think it does look like Chadwick Boseman, but it looks good enough. I'm not fine with this. I'm probably going to find... For this look specifically, for the no, no mask look, I'm probably going to find the actual um, T'Challa head that we've seen with Black Panther figures and swap this out. But yeah, it is a good look. It looks like the episode, so I can't really complain. The gold all over is really nice, it even goes down to the pants. The boots give me real uh, Star Wars The Clone Wars vibes. It's really interesting, like a bounty hunter look. I do quite like those, the little design on the side for, I assume it's something to do with the flight. Very interesting. The hands are kind of odd. They have like, I don't know, veins in them? They look like gloves, despite the fact that I'm pretty sure they are supposed to be his actual hands. So I'm a bit confused on that one, but still pretty good. The torso though. I don't know, there's something about the shape. I think it's how wide his upper torso is compared to his lower torso. It just doesn't seem quite right, and I know that's, you know, animated style and stuff. I just kind of wish that they'd gone with a little bit more realistic in terms of the torso. I don't mind the heads being cartoony, that's fine. I just think the proportions just feel a little bit off, as well as the fact that his arms are very long, which feels a little bit, you know, disproportionate. I'm just, you know, the overall look I think is good, but fitting him next to, let's just grab a random of a Marvel Legend, you know, fitting him, fitting him next to live action stuff, it just kind of looks wrong. And unfortunately, that's not even the case for every What If figure. You know, if all the What If wave were like this, I'd be like, okay, well, at least it fits with those. But some of those are actually kind of realistic. So, I don't know. I, I do like this figure. It's just, I don't know. It's not quite what I want. Going over articulation, we have a dumbbell joint at the head, which allows for forward pretty good. Back, that's also pretty good. And then you also have a lot of tilt and swivel and hula hoop action and all that. Very, very cool at the torso. Crunch forward. The jacket just gained away slightly, but it's fine overall. And back isn't great, but I mean, it's good enough. And then, no, nah, I was thinking maybe there was a little bit of tilt on that, but no. You do have rotation at the waist though, so overall pretty good. At the arm we have out, about 90, very good. Swivel all the way around, gets in the way of the jacket slightly, but still pretty good. Swivel at the bicep, we have double elbow, a bit tight on this side. But yeah, pretty good all the way. And then side to side on a weapon wielding hand, not great, but uh, I don't know. Hasbro's gonna Hasbro, I, I can't really complain too much. At the leg we have out, forward, back, runs into the sculpt, but still pretty good. Then swivel at the thigh, we have double knee, goes surprisingly not that far, a bit past, well, yeah, actually quite far past 90. It's, it's alright, but it's not ideal necessarily, you can get running poses still. Then at the, at the ankle, it's really weird. No forward as far as I can tell, you have back, and then forward facing pin for rocker. That is really weird placement though, like the forward facing pin is like right at the front, it's, it's interesting, it's done very weirdly, but... You know, overall, it does allow for standing. I think he is reasonably easy to stand. I say as I struggle to stand him. But yeah, you know, that works. No, it doesn't. <laughs> yeah, he's a bit awkward. But once you find his pose, you can get him to stand. I just can't seem to do it right now. 
That'll do. There we go. Well, there we have it. That's that's Star Lord standing. He's leaning very far forward like he's Michael Jackson, but hey, yeah, it's all it's all good. Going over accessories, Star Lord comes with his unmasked head, and then he has his actual mask, which looks phenomenal. And honestly, until I get an actual T'Challa head, this is probably going to be how I keep this figure. I think this looks amazing. It doesn't quite match color wise. The purple eyes match with the purple jacket, but. Yeah, it's a little bit of an odd silvery grey purpley colour for the actual main mask. It does work, it doesn't stand out necessarily, but it, it is different, so I don't know. But I do realise this look, it's definitely how I'm keeping him. And then you also get two of these Star-Lord blasters in purple and gold. They are the same mould as Star-Lord's blasters, just in different colours, and they just fit into the trigger fingers like so. Look very, very good. I, I'm a huge fan of these. I actually have the Nerf model of this, um, the Star Lord colours, the orange colours. I really like this weapon. Very happy about this. It works so well. It matches so well. I'm just honestly of all this figure, I think the blaster is my favourite part, which is kind of unfortunate. I do love this character. I just don't really like this look. So yeah, it, it's all good. For comparisons, we have the MCU Captain Marvel and the, I believe it's the Walgreens exclusive Nova. And uh, yeah, works for me. You know, a little bit taller than Captain Marvel. About the same height, maybe a little bit shorter than Nova. Works very well. You know, cosmic characters. It works. I like it. And then here he is with the Star Wars Black Series Stormtrooper, the first version with battle damage, and Jazz Wears for another legendary series, Fish Stick. Yeah, works for me. I can't really complain about this. As I say, Stormtrooper a little bit short, but, you know, it works. If you want Star-Lord fighting as a bounty hunter or something in your Star Wars display, that's definitely an option. Or a hunter in your Fortnite display, that also works. And then there was Nebula, who can't stand up either. So, I understand that ne this figure is essentially completely reuse other than the head, and I'm pretty sure that is accurate. I could be slightly wrong there, but I believe she is complete reuse of the, I think it's the Guardians 2? Nebula that we had. I don't have any other versions of Nebula, unfortunately, this is my first one. But Nebula is one of my favourite MCU characters. Not huge on her in the comics, but honestly, I don't know if it's characterization, don't know if it's Karen Gillan, but something about Nebula in the MCU is just phenomenal to me. I really do love her. And uh yeah, this is a really cool version of the character. I do kind of wish the hair was blue, which I believe is the colour that it is in the comics. But it being blonde, it gives that like Marilyn Monroe look. It's very interesting. The jumpsuit being purple, pretty classic. The holster and the, you know, entire belt bit really stands out as a separate piece. There's a lot of detail here, which obviously is because it's reuse of an actual MCU figure. It makes it look a lot more realistic. And that even goes to the face where I think this is one of the most realistic sculpts from this entire wave, which is saying a lot, honestly. But yeah, I really do like this. It looks... Honestly, a lot like Karen Gillan, despite the fact that it's actually an animated style. I really like it. It's really good. I'm, you know, not going to say anything bad about this figure, because I actually think it just looks really good. I'm not sure if it's 100% accurate to the actual episode, but it's my mind's eye of Nebula from the MCU, with, you know, gold hair and, you know, no enhancements. So, I really like this. I think it's really cool. Let's just get into articulation and see if that ruins it, because so far... I'm loving this figure. And starting at the head, there is a dumbbell joint, which unfortunately because of the hair is kind of locked up. That is all the up you get. That is all the down you get. You do get a little bit of tilt, which is always appreciated. But yeah, the, the lack of movement overall, kind of disappointing. At the torso, there is also a dumbbell joint, allows for all kinds of hula hoop action, and then nothing. Okay, I was moving this for a while. I might have been trapped under the belt, but that would not move. Um, there is actually a whist, a whist, a uh, waist swivel. Okay, very cool. Breaks the sculpt a little bit, but you can hide that with the belt, I guess, because I literally couldn't move it earlier. That was really weird. At the arm, we have out. All right, goes all the way around. We have single elbow goes. Oh, it's a ninety. Not terrible, but not great. And then side to side on the open generic female hand. On the trigger, it is actually up and down, so that's actually really cool. Uh, then add the leg. I'm going to do the holster side first, but out, forward, 
oh, back actually does pretty well. The sculpt doesn't get in the way at all. That's actually pretty good. And then double knee goes, wow, she can actually kick her upper back. That's um, that's kind of crazy. You know, that's, that's really good. Really good running poses with her. Then nothing at the actual boot cut, unfortunately, but there is forward. There we go. There is back and forward facing pin for Rocker. Very good. And, you know, as I showed at the start, standing her isn't exactly the easiest because of how high her boot heel is, but I think it is doable. There we go. Hopefully she stands up for a few seconds while I just move the camera down. Yeah, she stands. It's not the easiest figure to stand in the world, but I can't really complain. For accessories, you get a left trigger finger hand and a right generic female open magic using hand, and then a left fist and a right trigger hand, which I always think of Nebula as being right-handed. I don't know whether she actually is or not, but yeah, I'm going to be keeping it like this. Then for that trigger finger, you actually get a little blaster, which it's not focusing on for some reason. There we go. I don't know if this is reuse. It might actually be reuse from the previous Nebula. I'm not 100% sure. But yeah, it's a nice enough thing. No decals on it or anything, but it looks all right. And that does fit in the holster as I showed it earlier, just like so. Pretty good. Or you can pull it out, throw it into the hand like... I say like so, but I can't seem to do it. There we go. And, you know, that works pretty well, fits pretty nicely, and, uh, yeah, kind of completes the look. This belt is very much a loose piece. It goes all over the place if you're not careful. But, yeah, I think, honestly, the blast is probably going to stay in the holster, unfortunately. I think it just com kind of completes the look. I like this. This is good. So, for comparisons, we have MCU Captain Marvel and Walgreens Nova, which I think works really well. Karen Gillan is kind of short, so this makes a lot of sense. I'm I'm more than happy with this. And then here she is with the Star Wars Black Series Stormtrooper and Jazzwares Fish Stick. Once again, if you want to use her as a generic bounty hunter or a generic hunter, definitely works. I really do like this figure. And then here she is next to Star Lord, as well as just the Captain America zombie from this wave, just because I had him lying around. And on that note, that is going to be it for this review. So yeah, despite all my complaints, especially around their standing, I really do like these figures, especially Nebula. Nebula's great. It's my first Nebula figure. I'm, I'm, I'm so very happy. But yeah, these both surprised me in a lot of ways. I, you know, do actually quite like the Star-Lord. It's not perfect, in my mind at least, but I definitely do like it. But if you liked this video, I hope you did. Make sure to like it, subscribe, and if you're new around here, and ring the bell so you never miss an upload. I get a new review out every Tuesday and Friday, so subscribe so you never miss them when I upload them. And, uh, yeah. I hope you enjoyed, and I hope I see you next time. Uh, yeah. Bye!